IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 improves upon the existing inspections for locating areas of code that could be simplified by using Java 8 idioms, and adds more. For example, if you have a loop that's iterating and incrementing a counter, IntelliJ IDEA can automatically turn this into a stream operation using count. IntelliJ IDEA can process more complex nested loops. If you're using the default code style, this might result in a very long line of code. There's a setting in Editor, Code Style, Java, which can help here. In Wrapping in Braces, go to Chained Method Calls. Keep an eye on this example code here, and set to Chop Down If Long. You may want to do the same thing for method call arguments too. Now, when IntelliJ IDEA turns our loop into a stream operation using flat map and count, we have the dots lined up nicely. If the counter is incremented from the result of some other method call, IntelliJ IDEA will use map to int, or long or double, calling the method you wanted, and use the sum terminal operation. Again, if you have a similar situation but the loop is a more complex nested loop, the resulting stream operation will use flat map with map to int and sum. Previous versions of IntelliJ IDEA would automatically refactor simple loops to use a stream operation collect. Now, in 2016.3, you can refactor more complex nested loops. The resulting stream operation uses flat map to collapse the nested loops and collects the values. As in the previous examples, if the result is a collection of values from another method call, the resulting stream operation will use flat map and map to get the appropriate value. IntelliJ IDEA can handle quite complex logic, so even if you're collecting values in a nested loop with multiple continue statements, this can be refactored into a matching stream operation. And if the code uses return statements to determine whether some statement is true for some value in an array or collection, this can automatically be turned into an any match operation. Another pattern of code that can be refactored to use stream operations is loops that search for a specific value. These can now be turned into a find first operation. This will use optionals or else to return a default value if no matching element is found. Like the other examples, this inspection can automatically convert quite complex code. All the stream inspections can now use arrays.stream to offer stream operations for arrays rather than just collections. And IntelliJ IDEA can convert counted loops into int streams, so in this case the two for loops can be collapsed into a flat map operation. Previously, IntelliJ IDEA would see code that adds elements into a new collection as a candidate for a collect statement, but now the suggestions are more sophisticated. In this case, IntelliJ IDEA recognised that this list is ultimately turned into an array, Therefore, the collect step can be eliminated, and the toArray terminal operation is used instead, with the right method reference to create the correct array type. A similar example is when the code collects items into a list, which is then sorted in a separate operation. There is a new inspection in IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3, which offers to convert collections.sort to list.sort, which may be useful. But in this case, there's a better solution. When the loop is turned into a stream operation, IntelliJ IDEA recognises that the sort can be collapsed into the stream. The streams API is extremely useful and aids readability, but it doesn't always produce the fastest performing code. IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 can recognise places where a stream operation can be replaced with a more efficient call, such as replacing a count with a simple collections.size. Usually, inspections flag code with a yellow warning, so you can easily see places that can be changed. You'll notice that the new streams inspections we've been discussing don't cause a yellow warning, but the fix is available if we press Alt and Enter on the loop. If we look at the inspection settings, we can see that it uses a new severity, no highlighting, only fix. This may be useful for new inspections so the code doesn't automatically appear yellow everywhere. You can, of course, set this to a higher severity if you want these inspections to flag the code. There are new methods on collections in Java 8 that are helpful in reducing boilerplate code. Here we have some common code that looks up an item from a map and creates a new one to put in the map if it doesn't exist. IntelliJ IDEA now suggests that this can be replaced with a simple compute if absent call instead, which takes a lambda expression representing the code to call to create a new entry in the map if there's no value there already. 
The last area of collection code that can be simplified is removal. If there's code which is iterating over a collection and removing values that meet some criteria, this can be simplified to remove if. IntelliJ IDEA also offers further simplifications to make the code more readable. Another useful feature of Java 8 is optional. IntelliJ IDEA already had an inspection to check that code uses optional correctly, but it covered just the basic cases. This inspection has been improved to cater for more complex logic. Previously, although second optional does have an is present check, in the past this would have been incorrectly flagged with a warning. Now it is not. And in this case, where the is present check is combined with another Boolean, in IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3, this is correctly flagged as being insufficient to call get safely. Finally, when optional is correctly used with a simple is present check and a get call along with an alternate value for when the optional value is not present, IntelliJ IDEA will suggest that this can be refactored to a more idiomatic or else call. Note that here we can also see the new parameter names feature, which is covered in more detail in another screencast. Another area of Java 8 where there's some nice but little known improvements is with comparators. Comparators are used, for example, when sorting a stream. In the past, we may have written comparators as anonymous inner classes, and the temptation is to collapse these into a lambda expression. But Java 8's comparator class provides a number of helpful methods. In this case, IntelliJ IDEA suggests this lambda expression would be more readable if comparing int were used instead. This way we could see which method, getCount, is used to sort the counters. You can even add a call to reversed if you want it in descending order. If the class you're comparing already implements comparable, IntelliJ IDEA will suggest you can use the natural order method instead. Or you could use reverse order. Again, this leads to more readable expressions in the stream operation. So you can see IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 helps you write more idiomatic Java 8 code and helps you to refactor your code to use new styles.